Ladies and gentlemen, please join us in singing, O Canada. O Canada, our home and native land, true patriot love in all thy sons command. With glowing hearts we see thee rise, the true north strong and free. From far and wide, O Canada, we stand on guard for Thee. God, keep our land glorious and free. O Canada, we stand on guard for Thee. O Canada, we stand on guard Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. My name is Robert Thirsk, and I'm the Chancellor of the University of Calgary. It's my pleasure to declare a convocation officially convened. Please take your seats and rest comfortably. I take this opportunity to acknowledge the traditional territories of the Blackfoot and the people of the Treaty 7 region in southern Alberta which includes the Siksika, the Pikani, the Geena, the Tsutina, and the Stony Nakoda First Nations, including Chiniki, Bearspaw, and Wesley First Nation. The University of Calgary is situated on land adjacent to where the Bow River meets the Elbow River. The traditional Blackfoot name of this place is Mokinsis, which we now call the City of Calgary. And our city is also the home of the Métis Nation of Alberta Region 3. It's a pleasure to welcome today's graduates and, who are before me, along with family and friends, to this morning's convocation ceremony. University President and Vice Chancellor Dr. Elizabeth Cannon and I are pleased to welcome honorary degree recipient Dr. David Naylor and Order of the University of Calgary recipient Jill Tynan. We welcome also Mr. Gordon Ritchie, Chair of the University of Calgary Board of Governors members of our board, members of the Alumni Association Board of Directors, University Senate members, members of the Student Union Executive, and the Graduate Student Association Executive. A warm welcome to the Honorable Marlon Schmidt, Mr. Uh, Minister of Advanced Education and MLA for Edmonton Gold Bar, Dr. Jim Dinning, Chancellor Emeritus, past honorary degree recipient and Professor Emeritus, Dr. Richard Guy, and distinguished graduate David Nevin. A special welcome to professors and staff from the faculties of graduate studies, environmental design, kinesiology, law, nursing, science, veterinary medicine, the Cummings School of Medicine, the Haskane School of Business, and the Schulich School of Engineering. Thank you all for working so hard over the last years to support our graduates. To family and friends, you're here celebrating with a mixture of pride, joy, and a shared sense of accomplishment. You've stood by your graduates over the course of their degree, offering words of encouragement, a voice of reason, and even the occasional shoulder to cry on. Thanks to each of you for the love and support you've given to our graduates. In fact, graduates, let's pause for a moment because what I just said is important. As you know, the NHL hockey season is now well underway. One of the greatest traditions of hockey is that immediately after putting the puck in the net, the scorer will turn to the player who got the assist 
and will point to that person so that everyone in the arena knows who set up the goal. And this upholds the notion that hockey is a team sport. Well, post-secondary education is also a team sport. Graduates, do me a favor. Look around and find your family and friends up in the bleachers. In fact, graduates, please stand. Stand, graduates. Point to those people. Show me those people who assisted you to graduate today. Wave and cheer. Make some noise. Show them you're grateful for all their support. Thank you, graduates. And thank you, family and friends. Please take your seats. To our assembled graduates, congratulations. You are the University of Calgary's class of 2017. Woohoo! As you know, our university celebrated a significant milestone last year, uh, turning 50 years old. Your graduation will forever and uniquely kick off the next half century of pride at the University of Calgary. It's also Canada's 150th anniversary of Confederation this year, so you're graduating at a special time in history. Besides celebration, convocation is also a time for reflection. Whenever we reach a milestone, it's appropriate to pause and take stock of what just happened. For many of the undergraduates here today, your first week at the University of Calgary began several years ago with student orientation and an induction ceremony. I attended last year's induction ceremony and enjoyed the remarks of a f to the first year students by a graduate of this year, Nolan Hill. I was particularly intrigued by Nolan's statement that he is today a transformed person with different skills, different attitudes, and different perspectives than four years ago when he began his undergraduate education. How has your time at the University of Calgary transformed you? You are undoubtedly more independent with new knowledge and skills. Your perspectives about the world and your priorities have changed. You're more confident than when you first stepped on campus several years ago. Well, how did this transformation happen? Well, your experiences in lectures, labs, and tutorials had something to do with it. So did your positive relationships with professors, TAs, and other students. Your involvement in clubs, sports, and student government stretched you, and the unique culture at the University of Calgary that focuses on research, hands-on experiences, and entrepreneurial thinking also played a role. The barrage of quizzes, midterms, finals, term papers, and projects has been nonstop. The pace has been rapid and not always fun. Of all phases of life, perhaps the university years are the most dynamic. Be aware, however, that personal transformation is not limited to academia. Humans evolve and progress throughout life. Ongoing life experiences spark personal growth and to become vibrant, resilient, self-reliant, problem-solving citizens, we continually change and grow. If I had the opportunity to go back in time and to give advice to 22-year-old me, I would recommend that I take more time for self-reflection, reflecting on where I came from, how I got here, and where life could potentially take me. Someone once said, if you don't measure it, you can't manage it. Of course, as an astronaut, I buy into that. If I don't have feedback from the Canada Arm 2 position and rate sensors, then I can't control the robot arm's trajectory to maneuver a payload around the outside of the space station. The measuring and managing axiom also applies to life in general. We need to regularly measure what has transpired in our lives and manage our future the way we'd like. We shouldn't let life control us. We shouldn't go with the flow. We need to be in charge. So here's a suggestion. Divide the rest of your life up into four-year increments, as though life is a series of university degrees. Pause at the end of each of these increments and ask yourself if your life has undergone significant change and if you're transforming as a person. If the pace of change slows or stops, we need to be concerned. If I'm doing the same things in the same way as I did four years ago, then something is amiss. If I conduct a spacewalk or make a public presentation or plan an event in the same as previously, 
that I'm not improving nor progressing. If the opinions that I hold today are the same as those that I held four years ago, then I'm in a rut. You have been a student at the University of Calgary, and you've excelled with flair. As you leave our campus, become a student of life, a lifelong learner, a lifelong producer. And that approach will produce transformation in your personal life as well as change in the world. What happens next in your life matters to us. We'll watch with pride as you make your mark in the world, and as alumni, you will always remain part of the University of Calgary family. We wish you continued success and happiness. And now it's my pleasure to welcome the Honorable Marlon Schmidt, Minister of Advanced Education and MLA for Edmonton Gold Bar, to bring greetings from the Government of Alberta. <clears throat> Well, thank you, Chancellor Thirsk, for those uh, inspiring comments. Uh, and good morning, President Cannon, Boards of Governors members, Ms. Jill Tynan, Dr. David Naylor, graduates, family and friends, faculty, staff, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen. I'm pleased to be here on the traditional territory of Treaty 7, and I'm honored to bring greetings on behalf of Premier Rachel Notley and the Government of Alberta. Thank you to the University of Calgary for inviting me to join you all on this special day. I want to begin by congratulating Ms. Jill Tynan for being recognized uh, with the Order of the University of Calgary, and, and David Naylor for being recognized with an honorary degree. On behalf of all Albertans, I thank you both for your dedication and commitment, and for providing inspiration to all Albertans. Congratulations, Class of 2017. Today, you join a community of graduates and alumni whose contributions continue to raise the profile of the University of Calgary and our province. The University of Calgary has a strong reputation for helping students to unleash their potential and for producing leaders who are catalysts of positive change in our communities, in our society, and in our economy. As up-and-coming leaders, I'm certain the world-class education you've received here at the University of Calgary will empower you to succeed in your lives and careers right here in Alberta. Sorry, uh, I'm just uh, mindful of the time here, so that with your talents and skills, there are no limits to what the class of 2017 can achieve. I encourage you to dream big, follow your heart, and to contribute to community. Congratulations to you all, and my best wishes for your future success. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you, Minister Schmidt. I now invite President and Vice Chancellor Elizabeth Cannon to come forward and address convocation. Thank you, Chancellor Thirsk. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us on this very special occasion. I'd like to join the Chancellor in welcoming our distinguished guests, including the Honorable Marlon Schmidt, Minister of Advanced Education, members of our board, Senate, and senior leadership team, representatives of our Students Union and Graduate Students Association, of course, our honorary degree recipient, Dr. David Naylor, Order of the University of Calgary recipient, Jill Tynan, and our distinguished graduate, Daniel Niven. Most importantly, I'd like to send a warm welcome to the graduating class of 2017. Today marks such an important milestone in your lives and each one of you has worked very hard to get here today. You face many challenges and opportunities. You've discovered new ideas and friends. You've grown on all levels, personally, professionally, and intellectually. Your degree goes beyond being an academic achievement. It's a personal achievement. In a few minutes, you will, all your hard work will pay off. You'll cross the stage and go from being students of our university to being graduates and alumni. Congratulations to the class of 2017. <laughs> now I'm joined on this stage by those who care deeply about excellence in teaching and learning. They're passionate about the quality of higher education and they're dedicated to the success of our students. Please join me in thanking them. 
These are the faculty and staff of the University of Calgary, members of our board of directors, of board of governors and senate, chancellors past and present, and many community supporters. Those on the platform, please stand so we can thank you for your commitment to our university and to our students. Thank you. Now I would like to single out one member of our platform party for additional recognition. Dr. Richard Guy, could I ask you to please stand? Now Dr. Richard Guy is a professor emeritus in mathematics here at the University of Calgary. Although he is formally retired, he still comes to the university every day, mentors our students, and really is a great champion and ambassador of the University of Calgary. Now recently, the city of Calgary launched a new honors program called the Top 7 Over 70. And a number, we can all aspire to that, uh, a number of our uh, university community members were recognized in that a new awards program. Now you may think, well, Richard Guy was one of the Top 7 Over 70. Well, not exactly, because that recognition wouldn't speak to Richard's accomplishment and perhaps Richard's age. Uh, Richard recently turned 101. So he was given unique recognition as top one over 100. <laughs> Congratulations, Richard. Every convocation is a once in a lifetime experience, and I consider it a great honor to preside over this tradition. I also find that every convocation is a reminder of what makes this university great, and that's you. As students, you represent our next generation of innovators leaders, and community builders. During your time here, you've contributed to this university's reputation for excellence. And I'd like to share two stories that illustrate this from this graduating class. The first is Kelsey Collins, who will graduate today with a PhD in biomedical engineering. Kelsey came here from the University of California, Davis, to pursue interdisciplinary research in biomechanics. Working in the Human Performance Lab in the McCaig Institute for Bone and Joint Health, Kelsey has focused on the links between obesity, inflammation, and osteoarthritis. Kelsey has received numerous awards for her exceptional work, including the prestigious Killam Predoctoral Scholarship. And at the same time that she is a distinguished scholar, Kelsey is also an active volunteer and contributor to many different organizations. Congratulations, Kelsey. The second story is of Lewis Wellbanks Camarina. Lewis is graduating today with a Master of Science in Physics and Astronomy, and he also holds a Bachelor of Science from the University of Calgary. Lewis was the first UCalgary student to complete a double major in Physics and Astronomy in just four years. He has contributed to many initiatives to support his fellow students, including launching the Latin American Club on campus. Recently, Lewis also became the first U Calgary student to receive a full Gates Cambridge scholarship to pursue a PhD program at Cambridge University. He is studying planets outside our solar system, and he hopes to be part of the team that spots the first signs of extraterrestrial life. Congratulations, Lewis. These are just a few examples of how you have made our community a better place, and there are many other such stories in this graduating class. I also believe that the same values that have helped you succeed as students will serve you well as graduates, and I know this because I've witnessed it firsthand. Each year, the University of Calgary holds an event called the Arch Awards to recognize outstanding alumni. 
these award recipients are inspiring in all manners of ways. They are world-class doctors, Olympic medalists, and business leaders, just to name a few. And while the nature of their work varies, these alumni have all shared the same vision. They want to make a positive difference, and they were dedicated to using their education and skills to do so. These alumni, just like all of you here today, demonstrate what is possible when we invest in our students. Given the right support and resources, you are capable of sparking such positive change in our city and around the world. This is why student experience and campus culture are integrated throughout our university's Eyes High vision. And as you may know, we launched an energized Eyes High strategy as a legacy of our 50th anniversary celebrations just this past spring. This energized vision reflects over 10,000 different points of input on how we should continue fostering a strong university family and continue our journey of being bold and ambitious while firmly grounded in excellence. We want to create an environment where all members of this family have the support they need to excel. And to achieve this, our vision prioritizes entrepreneurial thinking which is part of Calgary's DNA. And with the announcement of the Hunter Hub for Entrepreneurial Thinking in May of this year, made possible through a $40 million gift from Calgary's own Hunter family, we are well on our way. We're continuing to build a more diversified, resilient Calgary and preparing our graduates for future success. Our vision also includes launching the university's first Indigenous strategy coming up later this month. This strategy reflects our country's shared journey towards truth and reconciliation. We are working together to foster teaching and learning as well as scholarship and community partnerships that are inclusive of the Indigenous perspective. All of this work guides us towards our commitment to be recognized as a top five research university in Canada, grounded in innovative teaching and learning, and fully integrated with the communities we both lead and serve. Graduands, this is our investment in you, and it's been worth it. You are leaders and creators, problem solvers and change makers, who will join an alumni community of more than 173,000 strong in 152 countries around the world. You have the talent and the education to take you wherever you want to go, and I know that you will go far. Congratulations to each and every one of you, and please keep your eyes high. Thank you. I would now like to invite the University of Cal Order of the University of Calgary recipient, Jill Tynan, to please stand. The university draws its strength from its community, its students, its faculty, its staff, and its alumni. The Order of the University of Calgary recognizes those within the university family who have brought great honor to our institution. Jill Tynan is a deserving recipient of the order. She is a proud alumna of the University of Calgary holding a Bachelor of Physical Education with distinction and an education diploma from our university. Jill's passion for education fueled her career as an accomplished teacher, coach and mentor for over 25 years. Following her retirement from the Calgary Board of Education, Jill accepted a role with the United Way of Calgary and area to help address social needs in our city. And in 2010, the government of Alberta appointed Jill to be their representative on the University of Calgary Senate. During her six-year term, Jill chaired numerous committees, such as the Joint Committee for Chancellor Search that led to the installation of our 13th Chancellor and fellow alumnus, Dr. Bob Thirsk. An avid supporter of the Chancellor's Club, Jill has recruited many others to join her to empower the best and the brightest young students to pursue excellence at the University of Calgary. 
while her term as senator has concluded. Jill remains one of the university's most passionate advocates. Eminent Chancellor, I present to you Jill Tynan, a true citizen of the University of Calgary. I invite you to admit her as a member of the Order of the University of Calgary in recognition of her exemplary and distinguished service to the university. It is my pleasure to now admit to you, Jill Tynan, as a member of the Order of the University of Calgary. Congratulations. I would now like to introduce Patrick Finn, our university orator, who will deliver the citation for our honorary degree recipient. David Naylor, please stand. When entering the medical profession, doctors take the Hippocratic Oath. For 2,500 years, this pledge has simultaneously called for personal responsibility while challenging individuals to reach beyond themselves. Visitors to our medical school will find a statue of Hippocrates watching over doctors, nurses, researchers, and students going from lectures to laboratories to meetings with patients. David Naylor took Hippocrates' oath when he earned a medical degree at the University of Toronto then traveled as a Rhodes Scholar to Oxford to earn a doctorate before returning to Canada for training in internal medicine. Combining theory and practice, he cared for individuals, advanced scholarly research, and created and implemented innovative approaches to medical care in our country. Following Hippocrates, he committed himself to personal integrity and the betterment of the world around him. Once established in two professions, he turned to the next generation of healthcare professionals and scientists. He taught future doctors, founded clinics, led a medical school, and worked in the community to improve medical research and education at several universities, including our own. He next became president of our country's largest university, where he strove to improve research and teaching in all areas of the academy. Convocation is a celebration, a transformation, and a call to action. It is a celebration of achievement, a transformation from student to graduate, and the beginning of a great adventure. To honor the moment, we participate in one of two oaths. One confers entry to the scholarly community. The other calls members to a profession. Dr. David Naylor, officer of the Order of Canada, answered and excels in both callings. With more than 300 scholarly publications, the development of new health programs and clinics, multiple contributions to public health policy, and several posts in academic leadership, David Naylor is a model of success. A list of his accomplishments in any one of his fields is sufficient to declare him exceptional. Yet, it is not what he did, but how he did it that inspires us. Each part of David Naylor's personal success improved the lives of those around him. At this stage in their careers, many declare that having achieved success, it is now time to give back. David Naylor gives back in every step he takes. He keeps his oath. Eminent Chancellor, I present to you Dr. David Naylor. His contributions in science, medicine, public policy, and leadership have advanced the common good and brought honor to himself and to the professions he serves. On behalf of the Senate and the University of Calgary, I invite you to invest him with the Doctor of Laws, Honoris Causa. Great privilege.
I admit you, David Naylor, to the degree Doctor of Laws on Eris Causa and grant you all the rights and privileges, powers and responsibilities pertaining to this degree. Congratulations. Chancellor Thursk, President Cannon, members of the Senate, nominators, thank you very much for inviting me to graduate with these outstanding students from diverse faculties of the University of Calgary. I'm humbled and honored to be here and to share the platform with fellow honoree Jill Tynan, members of the Board of Governors, the Minister, student leaders, and of course, many distinguished academic leaders and colleagues. To the graduating class, those who, unlike me, really earned their degrees, good morning. In fact, that may be an understatement. I think it's a fantastic morning. I hope it's a brilliant day for all of you. I feel very privileged to join you and to share this occasion with your families, friends, and fans here assembled. This great university can claim many tens of thousands of alumni who've made a difference in every corner of Canada, around the world, and yes, as your remarkable chancellor illustrates, sometimes out of this world. Their legacy is an integral part of what makes your degree today one of outstanding credibility. And all of us on the platform are confident that your accomplishments in turn will enrich that legacy for the generations of University of Calgary students who will follow you here in the decades ahead. I know some of today's graduates are veterans of previous convocations. So am I. I think this is number 151. And I can tell you that to be with the next generation who will lead Canada and their families is always an inspiration. But from that experience, I also know there's something of a formula for honorary doctorate speeches. First, you do some acknowledgments. I think we've done those. Then you're expected in many instances to tell a personal story and offer some words of advice to the graduating class. And there's a problem because on the personal front, I've had trouble holding any job for more than a few years. <laughs> so I don't have much of a storyline. And lots of my work has been somewhat specialized and we have graduates today from a wonderfully wide range of disciplines, professions and degree categories. So instead, let me tell a very Canadian story about an odd couple, Tom Lakovitz and Edna Aziz, both born in Canada just over 100 years ago. And his parents were part of a big wave of Christian immigrants from Lebanon and Syria who came in the late 19th century. Her family settled in eastern Ontario, and Edna's father earned a living shuttling between local orchards and grocery stores as a fruit merchant. Tom's family came to Canada a few years later, part of another group that sought refuge and opportunity in our great nation. They came from the Jewish ghetto of Lvov on the Polish-Ukrainian border, and Tom's father finally found employment as a milkman, driving a horse-drawn cart through the streets of Toronto. As was the custom in those days, both their mothers were homemakers. And as remained the gender norm, even though Edna Aziz won top honors at her high school and became a successful journalist, university was never a consideration for her. Today, by way of positive contrast, women outstrip men in university enrollment and degree completion in the majority of OECD countries, including ours. As to Tom Lakovitz, he was the only one of six siblings to attend university. Perhaps unwisely, in the depths of the Great Depression, he registered as a science undergraduate at the University of Toronto, dreaming of a career in medical research. Short of cash, working full time, he somehow made it into medical school after a couple of years, but that quickly proved financially unsustainable. Tom dropped out of his first year of the NB program in Toronto and never returned. That still sometimes happens, I fear, but happily it's much less likely in today's environment of scholarships bursaries and student loans. Universities work hard at access. 
Now, by strange happenstance, this odd couple, Tom and Edna, met, fell in love, and eloped in 1940. Understandably, given their aspirations and their unrealized dreams, they strongly emphasized the value of higher education to all of their four children, who got the message. This particular group, unusually, all earned doctoral degrees and all ended up teaching and working at Canadian universities. Now, with variations, many involving significant sacrifice and struggle by parents and students, that story has been repeated through the decades in describing the intergenerational path of countless Canadian families, including, I would guess, many in the hall today. These are stories that underscore the enduring transformative potential of higher education, why it matters, a potential reflected in this ceremony and others like it at universities and colleges across the nation. Now, by the way, in case you were wondering, at some point in his young life, Tom Lakovitz decided to change his name. He picked the surname Naylor, more or less at random from a Toronto phone book. And after my father died, it seemed fitting somehow to put his old oak desk, a bit of an ugly desk actually, in the office of the Dean of Medicine, the faculty he had left without a degree almost 70 years earlier, and later it went to the president's office at the same institution. Now, it didn't match any of the furniture. It was sort of a sentimental gesture, but it ended up being something else. It was a reminder every day of how lucky I was and also how universities had changed. And looking out at this diverse group of graduates, the best and brightest of their generation, one has a wonderful sense that our universities are more open and meritocratic than ever before, but we cannot become complacent. Many bright young people still face serious barriers. That's especially the case when it comes to the participation in higher education by Canada's Indigenous peoples. It's spectacular to hear about Calgary's plans in this respect. And closing this gap in participation is something that, as university graduates, all of us have an obligation to work to remedy. Now my last task, brief advice. You've had wonderful counsel already from several very wise speakers. So as you proceed to the next phase of your lives and careers, graduates, I have just one small suggestion for you. We know that in general, the happiest and most successful people are those who focus on the task at hand and savor the moment. But I would encourage you to heed your university's motto. Take time to raise your sights and imagine a better future for your discipline or profession, for your city or your province for Canada and the world. Why take the time? Because, to paraphrase T.E. Lawrence, those who dream by night in the dusty recesses of their minds wake in the day to find that all was vanity. But the dreamers of the day may act their dream with open eyes and make it possible. In that regard, fellow graduates, along with a very fine education and today's degree from a great university, each of you has the most precious gift of all, a chance to dream and the talent and time to turn those dreams into reality. Congratulations to each of you. Best wishes for much happiness and every success in what lies ahead. And again, thank you all for allowing me to share your special day. Thank you, Dr. Naylor, for your thoughtful words and uh, for accepting this honorary degree. It's actually an honor for us, the University of Calgary, to confer it. Uh, you're a role, role model for your contributions in health research, education, administration, and policy, and you're an inspiration to our graduates and to our faculty. Thank you. Graduates, can you please stand? Eminent Chancellor and President, on behalf of the faculties of the university, I present these graduates and those named in the convocation program who are not at this ceremony. I ask that they be pledged and admitted to the University of Calgary degrees that they have earned. 
As a graduate of this university, you join a worldwide kinship of educated persons who have earned opportunities and responsibilities of leadership and service in their chosen communities. To recognize this affinity, we invite each graduate to stand and join with the thousands who have gone before in making the University of Calgary graduates pledge. The pledge is not an oath, but is a solemn expression of your intention to apply your learning and experience positively for the widest benefit. I invite all past graduates of the University of Calgary to support these newest alumni by also standing and affirming a graduate's obligations and ideals. Could I ask all past graduates to also stand? It is now my pleasure to introduce our distinguished graduate, Dr. Daniel Niven, who will lead the graduate's pledge. Dr. Niven is an intensive care physician and an assistant professor in the departments of critical care medicine and community health sciences at our university. He received his MD from the University of Calgary in 2006, and he has been recognized for his exceptional leadership to improve evidence-based health care and research. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Daniel Niven. Graduates, I will now lead you in the graduate pledge on the inside back cover of your program. Please follow along and also read aloud. When we finish, you will all say along with me, this is my pledge. As a graduate of the University of Calgary, Wherever my life may take me, I will use my knowledge, experience, and skills to the best of my ability for the well-being of my communities and for the advancement of learning and the public good. I will conduct myself with honesty and integrity, taking responsibility for my actions and respecting the rights, opinions, and dignity of all peoples. I will maintain my competency and keep abreast of developments in my chosen fields. I will strive to better my communities through good citizenship and active participation. I will be a loyal ambassador for my university and will seek to promote its welfare and maintain its reputation. I will honor all those who have shared their knowledge with me and will in my turn share my knowledge and experience with those who enter my field or come under my direction. In all my dealings, I will endeavor to be known as a person of honor and repute ever seeking to earn the peace of good conscience. This is my pledge. By the authority of the Statutes of Alberta, and upon the recommendation of our faculties, I admit you to the University of Calgary degrees you have earned and grant you the rights and privileges, powers and responsibilities pertaining to those degrees. Congratulations. <laughs> Eminent Chancellor, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, graduates. My name is Lisa Young and I have the privilege of serving as the Dean of Graduate Studies here at the University of Calgary. I am delighted to see the remarkable number of graduates here today earning PhDs and master's degrees. This is a tremendous individual accomplishment and contributes to all of us as these students have advanced knowledge. All graduate students are registered in the Faculty of Graduate Studies, but they've found their home in their teaching faculty. So it's my great pleasure to join with the deans of Medicine, Environmental Design, Business, Kinesiology, Law, Nursing, Science, Engineering, and Veterinary Medicine today in congratulating these students. Eminent Chancellor, by authority of the Council of the Faculty of Graduate Studies, we have the honor to present the following graduates. For the degree, Doctor of Philosophy, Jiawei Zhang. <laughs> Gurbaksha Singh. <laughs> Helen Tam Tam. <laughs> Alpana Saxena. Lian Babes. <laughs> Ma
Jacinda Ray Larson. Adelaide Ama Omari. Chan Gao. Jennifer Bialecki. Patrick Shishansky. Jordan Stewart Farrell. Sarah Mohammed Al Yusuf. Amanda Vanessa Tyndall. Hussein Mahdavi. Mazadi, Mazdi. <laughs> Charles Arvid Backman. Akolisa Ufodike. Robert John Holash. <laughs> Dylan Robert John Kopsar. <laughs> Elizabeth Ann Whitsett. Lorelai Nowell. Bradley David Day. Brent Randall Allen Lancaster. Theodore Baldwin Verhey. <laughs> Abdul Hamid Saleh Hussein Al Ghabkari. <laughs> Jessica Duong. Mark Norman Mahadeo. <laughs> Matthew Richard John Morris. <laughs> Nosrat Sharmin Shomu. <laughs> Navreed Kaur Suri. Courtney Rose Afton Toss. <laughs> Kyle William Hall. <laughs> Ebenezer Owusu Ansa. Beatriz Molero Sanchez. Norman Wong. Arash Afshar.
Dina Aydel Said. Raul Jose Cova Gamero. Congratulations. Marcello Guarido de Andraidi. Nisael Antonio Solano. Mark William Girard. Lee Alexandra Conroy. Kelsey Helen Mary Collins. Elisa Portes Dos Santos Amorim. Right. Ronan Mendonça Amorim. <laughs> Mohamed Azgari. Ju Dai. Yvonne Maritza Otero Navas. Victor Manuel Rodriguez de Beches. Zainab Zargar. Kai Jung. Martin Hudecek. Mohammed Matiur Rahman. Yasaman Amani Najad. Fatime Roch. Gon Tan Lee. Ahsan Nasrullah Poor. Sorush Shafi'i. William Schuyler Hinman. <laughs> Daiwan Ju. <laughs> Mahda Sadeh Vishkai. John Hirema. Andrew Hagner. For the degree Master of Biomedical Technology. Rami Khadur, Mark Jameson Saunders, Fahir Nafis Unsari. For the degree Master of Business Administration, David Andrew Bird, Nicholas Castaneda Sandoval, Trevor Scott Cavano. Matthew William Cloutier.
Chris Henry, J. Stephen Hubbard, Mustafa Al Hussein Jamali, Travis Robert Jones. For the degree, Master of Business Administration, Combined Program, Blake John Alexander Liu. Jamie Enrique Lopez. Safiya Riaz Merchant. Theodore Neumann Mulik. Sean Ostro. Jennifer Lisa Shorman. Rabie Sayed. Bo Wu. For the degree Master of Engineering, Osama Al Sanusi. Harleen Kaur Shoan. Mark Chung. Zainu Sadia Islam. Arabindo Roy. Muhammad Mehedi Hassan Suhaid. Atashi Talukdair. For the degree Master of Nursing, Faila Ahmed. Faila Ahmed is also receiving a combined program postmaster diploma in nursing. Veronica Bolstowski. Michelle Ann Gerwing. Paula Harvalek. Stephanie Megan Kirkpatrick. Megan Lynn Mill. Catherine Mitchell. Abiola Oliela Olatona. Aljat Kaur Randawa. She is also receiving a postmaster diploma in nursing. Karen Lori Rasmussen. Camilla Patricia Rokos. Maxine Maria Scringer Wilkes. Allison Adriana Shaw. William Sibold. Christina Lee Vimy. Lydia Zagaya Yefru. For the degree Master of Science, Salem Ahmed. Mitchell Edward Alberts. Samuel Azam. Jasmine Kaur Badwan. Kyla Marie Baker. Jillian Tori Berthelet. Edwin Chan. Lucy Dieppe. Jose Alejandro. Duenz Wartado, Rebecca Gail Elgenhart, Carol, Carol Jennifer Fenton, Amy Leigh Freeman Frederick, Amanda Lynn Godbold, David Grechen, Nicole Grennan, Melody Nikita Gross, Julie, Julia Ann Haber, Mackenzie Hafey, Michael James Hay, 
Rebecca Ann Holmes. Catherine Victoria Jensen. Catherine May Kenny. Ivana Karoski. Douglas Kenneth Karolik. Wingman Joanne Lamb. Scott Robert Leher. Annalisa Lazaro Cote. Frida Cora LeBlanc. Nicole Louise Lafarve. Shu, Shu Yu Liu. Jessica Don Loaf. Charles Andrew John McCauley. Kelsey Elizabeth Meyer. Alexis Tori Mickle. Joshua Horshek. Joshua Simon Novak. Janello Agatha Aguaja. Sarah Kate Peterson. Alexandra Chung Perry. Juan Sebastian Pfeiffer Pulido. Colin Joseph Popeña. Shinta Asientia Pradipta. Ragjanja Push Push Pushkur. <laughs> Apostle Ivanov Radev. Andrea Rakic. Jennifer Joanne Reed. Courtney Leigh Rockhall, Rockwell. Sorish Roy. Lorraine Royale. Jeffrey Juan Salvador. Lauren Suzanne Sawish. Taylor Don Scori. Brittany Noel Shabitz. Mark John Sherlock. Kristen Skelton. Gabrielle Alouette Sofekin. Nermine Soriel. Daniel Gordon Sidekio. Dane Patrick Sinat. Kobe Shane Thompson. Oksana Tracy. Zara Walji. Jing Yang. Yijun Yang. David Adair. Saida Salwa Ali. Sharita Sharma. Yoshinari Alfonso Casas Alia. Yujin Shen. Tamiola Elizabeth Famakinawa. John Gu. King Kwang Lu. Srila Shmi Putur. Sebastian Cesarego. Masha Gafari Tardi. 
Graham Temple Hill. Brendan Lumgaer, Lumgaer. Lynn Wang. Vahid Asghari. Michael James Hemron. Herman. Ruzba Sadagi. Simon Daniel Windmuller. Eric Manking Wu. Kent Douglas Jones. Jeremy Stewart. He Fong Chang. Jeffrey Lawrence Edwards. Maxwell Lee. Ali Frangfar. Trent Pelkey. Zhuang Shu Zhang. Yingu Zhu. Ellen Sui Chen. Postmaster's Diploma in Nursing, Jolie Marie Ungarian. Eminent Chancellor, that is the graduating class of 2017 for the Faculty of Graduate Studies. Thank you. Eminent Chancellor, honored guests, ladies and gentlemen, it's my privilege and honor to be the Dean of the Cummings School of Medicine. And this year we are, we are having graduates from three of our programs, the Bachelor of Community Rehabilitation, Bachelor of Health Sciences, and our MD class. And I'd like to first, to the graduates, I'd like to say congratulations. All that blood, sweat, tears that you've put into your degrees, it's done, you're there, celebrate. Congratulations to all of you. And the second thing I'd like to do is being referred to already, there's a tradition for our MD graduates every year of taking the Hippocratic Oath. So I'd like to ask Franco and Les Lacey if you would please stand. And Franco, you are going to have to speak up. This year. Good job this year. And I'm going to ask if there are any other physicians in the audience who would like to stand and renew their Hippocratic Oath. I'd invite you to stand. The Hippocratic Oath is something that we have used for centuries. It defines, it is the quintessential essence of what it is to be a physician. It's a very moving ceremony. So I would like you to repeat after me, now being admitted to the profession of medicine, I solemnly pledge to consecrate my life to the service of humanity. I will give respect and gratitude to my deserving teachers and in my turn I will teach and I will study. I will practice medicine with conscience and dignity. The health and life of my patient will be my first consideration. I will hold in confidence all that my patient confides in me. I will maintain the honor and the noble tradition of the medical profession. I will not permit consideration of race, religion, nationality, ideology, or social standing 
to intervene between my duty and my patient. I will maintain the utmost respect for human life. Even under threat, I will not use my knowledge contrary to the laws of humanity. These promises I make freely and upon my honor. Congratulations. Eminent Chancellor, by the authority of the Faculty Council of the Coming School of Medicine, we have the honor to present these graduates. For the degree Doctor of Medicine, Franco Rizzuti. For the degree Bachelor of Community Rehabilitation, Julie Jennifer Beerman. Christine Cayetano Katchen. Jennifer Ruth Evans. Jamie Alice Radin, with distinction. <laughs> Tiffany Morin. <laughs> Kayla Martina Staus, with distinction. <laughs> Shaylin Janelle Strang. <laughs> Jennifer Sang. For the degree, Bachelor of Health Sciences in Bioinformatics, Kevin Ballon. For the degree, Bachelor of Health Sciences Honors in Biomedical Sciences, Shailin Laura Rothery, first class. For the degree, Bachelor of Health Sciences in Health and Society, Angeli Aguinaldo. Eminent Chancellor, that is the graduating class of 2017 from the Cummings School of Medicine. Thank you. For the degree Bachelor of Commerce. Oh, sorry. Eminent Chancellor, good morning ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Jim DeWald, and I'm very proud to be the Dean of the Haskeen School of Business and to present, along with Associate Dean Sherry Weaver, the graduates from the Bachelor of Commerce program. This particular group is very special in my heart because they were part of the initial survey of incoming students where I asked students coming out of high school, why are you taking a business degree? And in this particular group, there was about a third that said they wanted to be entrepreneurs, about a third that said they wanted to be professional accountants, and about a third that said they wanted to be in finance. Now these weren't exclusive choices, and there were two that sailed way above all others. One with 79% response, they wanted to make a lot of money. <laughs> and that's fine, because what they paired up with it, with their number one choice was, they want to make a difference in the world. And honestly, that's how we feel about a business degree and about the act of commerce. It allows people, such as our namesake, Dick Haskane, to create great companies that employ people, that create great opportunities for so many families and people, and ultimately, that creates a kind of philanthropy that Dick Haskane gave for us. So I think they have a great start and they're going to do great things in our community. Eminent Chancellor, on the authority of the Faculty Council of the Haskane School of Business, I'm very proud and pleased to present these graduates of the Bachelor of Commerce program. Thank you. 
for the degree Bachelor of Commerce, Abdul Rahman Afan. Shaharyar Ahmed. Noman Bayenmonk. Matthew Howard Brady. Babel Brar. Kernraj Singh Brar, with distinction. Alexander Brian Brown. Hashim Mahmood Chaudhry, with distinction. Nicole Cassandra Chin, with distinction. Keegan Aaron D'Souza. Garnet Doyle. Sophia Ear. John Lu Gao. Jazdeep Singh Gill. David Joseph Gutterson. Fatima Zura Hamid. Sonia Amer Hack. Jacqueline Aaron Hebert, with distinction, also receiving a Bachelor of Arts in Spanish, with distinction. Thomas Maxwell Kocher, with distinction. Stephanie Campbell. Mudahira Khalid. Ryan Lamb. Maggie Lee. Jason Michael Liu. Marco Lutkic. Rachel Luang Tran. Nayasha Esther Mazura. Spencer Curtis Mann. Timothy Charles Matson. Adam Peter Medley. Reagan Whitney Nagel. Stephanie Nye. Andy Nguyen. Erica Ventura Pablo, with distinction. Rizamel Bianca Ponce. Casey Allen Pugh. Christelle Santiago. Hannah Amy Sell, with distinction. Mark Shihada. Namneet Kaur Shergill. Brett Smiley, with distinction. Steve Stanislavski. Tatiana Struina, also graduating with a Bachelor of Arts in Italian Studies, both degrees with distinction. Alex Titov. Justine Trong. Sumit Singh Wari. With oh, Spencer Bevan Wurtzakash. Sung Q Yoon. Ryan Daniel Zur. Eminent Chancellor. Sorry. Eminent Chancellor, that is the graduating class of 2017 from the Haskane School of Business. Thank you.
Good morning, Chancellor Thursk, President Cannon, honored guests, and distinguished honorees, Dr. David Naylor and our own Jill Tynan, um, family, friends, staff, faculty, and of course, graduates. My name is Penny Worthner, and it is my great honor to serve as Dean of the Faculty of Kinesiology. To our graduating students, congratulations. It's a fantastic day for each of you. You've earned your degree in the Faculty of Kinesiology. On behalf of all our faculty and staff, I congratulate you and wish you the very best in fitness and in health as you move into the next phase of your life. Eminent Chancellor, by the authority of the Council of the Faculty of Kinesiology, Dr. Reed Ferber and I have the honor to present the following graduates. For the degree Bachelor of Kinesiology, Anastasia Lahaja Biagi. <laughs> Quinton Harley Chone. Morgan Dale. Anna Hu. Arshman Singh Kang. For the degree Bachelor of Kinesiology in Mind Sciences and Kinesiology, Candice Dawn Robinson. For the degree Bachelor of Science in Kinesiology, Liam John Azachuk, graduating with distinction. Taylor Erica Grace. Eminent Chancellor, that is the graduating class of 2017 from the Faculty of Kinesiology. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Diane Tapp, and it is my honor to serve as the Dean of the Faculty of Nursing. In your program today, there are 24 graduates from the Faculty of Nursing most of whom have already crossed the stage as Master of Nursing graduates, uh, Master of Nursing Nurse Practitioner graduates, and one doctoral graduate. So first of all, I'd like to say congratulations to all of those folks who um, are, are clinical specialists, clinical leaders in the system. They'll go on to be managers and educators. They're already very seasoned nurses uh, working in the healthcare system. So congratulations to you. We're delighted this morning to have one graduate representing our Bachelor of Nursing program, and I assure you there are more coming. <laughs> our nursing graduation usually has a, uh, our biggest class in the spring convocation, and in, in June there will be about 250 Bachelor of Nursing uh, graduates at that time. But in the meantime, uh, uh, Chancellor, it is my honor to, um, by the authority of the Faculty of Nursing Council, to uh, announce the following graduate. For the degree of a Bachelor of Nursing, Lisa Huang. Yeah. <laughs> Eminent Chancellor, that is the graduating class of 2017 from the Faculty of Nursing. Thank you. Graduates of the Schulich School of Engineering, it is a great honor to be your dean. In the short years that you have been in our school, you have accomplished and done so much and we know this is just the beginning of your journey. Throughout your careers, take every opportunity to support and better your local and global communities, both in and outside of your professional lives. We will watch your careers unfold with incredible pride. Congratulations and be proud of your successes. Eminent Chancellor, by the authority of the Council of the Schulich School of Engineering, 
we have the honor to present the following graduates. Bachelor of Science in Chemical Engineering, Joy Jan with distinction. <laughs> Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering, Sina Ashkari. <laughs> Aditya Vartwas. <laughs> Oliver Paul Hudgens. Brett Arthur Kruger. <laughs> Bial Ali Sher. <laughs> For the degree, Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering, Eric Lamb. <laughs> Obiora, Obiagans, Onieka. Christian Steven Snaveria. <laughs> Tian Yi Wu. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering and Bachelor of Science of Arts in <laughs> Economics. <laughs> Kauran Kamran Al Jarieri. Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering, Eric Anthony Brown with distinction. <laughs> Drake Lee. <laughs> Jeffrey Joseph Mailing. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Oil and Gas Engineering. Olu Ademi, Olasobimi, Aradiyu. Singer One, <laughs> NC Zhao, this one. Eminent Chancellor, this is the graduating class of 2017 from the Shulik School of Engineering. Good morning. Thank you, President, Provost, Chancellor, parents, students, guests, honorary guests here on stage. My name is Leslie Rigg, and I am honored to be the Dean of the Faculty of Science. To all our Faculty of Science graduates, congratulations. We know how hard you've worked to get where you are today. This is certainly a day to celebrate, and maybe an evening to celebrate. Celebrate your accomplishments and reflect, and reflect long on your achievements because there have been many. It's a special day for you. It's a special day for us. It's a day of new beginnings. Today you transition. You transition from being one of our truly valued students to becoming one of our valued alumni. And we wish you all the best in all that you do. We heartily welcome you into our diverse Faculty of Science alumni family. And we are a family, a family of over 24,000 people located in all corners of the world. We have no idea where you'll end up living, but we'd love to hear about it, and we wanna keep track of you. We wanna know what accomplishments you continue to achieve. We know that you're bursting with potential, creativity we've seen day in and day out, and innovation is our future, and we know and we're proud of the future that you will create for us. Eminent Chancellor, by the authority of the faculty, the Council of the Faculty of Science, along with Associate Dean Nancy Chibri, we have the honor to present the following graduates. For the degree Bachelor of Science in Actual Science, Homan Joyce Chen. <laughs> Ivan Jingdang Chen. Jerome Aquino Gonzalez. Batch for, a degree, for a degree, Bachelor of Science, Honors in Biochemistry.
Sarah Chen. Sarah is also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology. <laughs> Ashley Casey Chu. <laughs> Tony Tian Tan Din. <laughs> Brendan Patrick Hall. <laughs> Ula Grisil Paragas. <laughs> Anna Preed Radawa. Craig William Michael Scott is also receiving a Bachelor of Science in, with distinction. For the degree Bachelor of Science, Honors in Chemistry, Safir Nanji. Yvonne Chen. Jason Cho. Patrick Clark. Jenna Dow. Binking Jia. Ashley Elizabeth North. Michael Yao. Artis Safi for the degree of Bachelor of Science, in Honors in Computer Science, first class. Mark Christopher DeSorcy with distinction. Christopher Hugh Hawk. Ji Hu. Andrew Alexander Lata. Jishan Li. Jesse Singh Manak. Claire Michalakos. Ryan Michael Newhouse. Zachary Michael Scott. Kumal Youssef. Buthania Najib Al Maktari. For the, for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Environmental Science, Emma Cook Clark. For the degree Bachelor of Science, Honors in Geology, Allison Nicole Kendall. Logan James Madden, honors. Musa Talab. Aaron William Wegener. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Geophysics, Catherine Martha Kemp. Taylor Paige McGonigal. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Natural Sciences, Jason Huang. Gulra Hassani, Faria Khan, Mirdad for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Natural Sciences, Mirdad Moti, Crystal Wing Sum Wong, For the degree Bachelor of Science Honors in Neuroscience, Thomas Chase Clark, first class. Amy Ruth Prothero, first class. William Marcus Wilson, first class. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honors in Physics, Daniel James Korczynski, first class. Daniel is also receiving a Bachelor of Science in General Math Mathematics with distinction. For the degree, degree of Bachelor of Science in Physics, Bryce Farron Taylor. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honors in Zoology, Rita Akram. Kayleen Evelyn Bowles. Lily Hu, with distinction. And Brooke Virlo Kidal, Bachelor of Science Zoology. Eminent Chancellor, that is a graduating class of 2017 from the Faculty of Science. Thank you.
Well, this ceremony is first and foremost a celebration of your success and deservedly so, for you are a very impressive group. We're now at the point of the ceremony where we honor graduates for special recognition, those who have been singled out as medal winners. The details of the medals that we're awarding today and the names of the medal winners appear on page 19 of your convocation program. Madam President, eminent chancellor and board chair, it's, a ple it's my pleasure to present to you the platform party and the graduates today uh, and everyone else assembled, the following medal winners. The winner of the Governor General's gold medal at the doctoral level is Dr. David Campbell. <laughs> Dr. Campbell joined the University of Calgary from the University of Edinburgh, where he completed his Master of Science in Medical Anthropology. As a medical student, Dr. Campbell developed a keen interest in health science and policy research, particularly research focused on minimizing health disparities and improving access to care for under, underserved populations. After five years of combined research and clinical training, he completed his residency in internal medicine and received his PhD in community health sciences. His thesis research centered around patient perceived financial barriers and their impact on clinical and patient-recorded chronic disease outcomes using a mixed-method approach. He is currently a clinical fellow in endocrinology and metabolism here at the University of Calgary. Congratulations, David. The winner of the Governor General's Gold Medal at the Master's level is Dr. Karen Tang. <laughs> Dr. Tang is graduating with a Master in Science with a specialization in Health Services Research. While completing her Master of Science, she concurrently completed a research fellowship for which we, she received prestigious awards from Alberta Innovates and the Canadian Institutes for Health Research. Karen is a general intern, internal medicine physician, having previously received an MD from the University of Alberta. And then she saw the light and came to University of Calgary. <laughs> Her research, I can say that because I have degrees from U of A too. Her research examines the associations between the social vulnerabilities and health. Her work has helped to inform decision makers at the local, provincial, and international level, including the World Health Organization. Dr. Tang's cumulative GPA during her graduate program was a perfect 4.0. I think that deserves a clap. Congratulations on your achievement, Dr. Tang, the master's level Governor General's gold medalist. Ladies and gentlemen, families and friends who have come from far and wide, thank you for attending the convocation ceremony and supporting our graduates. 
What a pleasure it's been for us to see such accomplished women and men cross the stage. Thank you to our esteemed faculties, graduate studies, environmental design, kinesiology, law, nursing, science, veterinary medicine, along with the Haskane School of Business, the Cummings School of Medicine, and the Schulich School of Engineering. Congratulations again to our honorary degree recipient, Dr. David Naylor, and also to our Order of the University of Calgary recipient, Jill Tynan. Thank you to Patrick Finn for your stirring uh, citation for, for Dr. Naylor. Congratulations again to our medal winners, David and Karen. Fall convocation wouldn't be the same if it weren't for music, so thank you to Alf Miller, our piper, and our vocalist, Ben Matchett, and also to the Johnny Summers Quintet. <laughs> Graduates, you had a jazz combo at your convocation ceremony. How cool is that? <laughs> a special thank you to the people who have worked so hard behind the scenes to make today's convocation ceremony unfold smoothly. First of all, our marshals and ushers, George and Glenn, you are my heroes, I worship you. The sound team and comm media, and all of the staff and volunteers behind the scenes. <laughs> to our graduates, through this ceremony, we have recognized your years of demanding work and commitment to your studies and extracurricular activities. You worked hard, and we're proud of all that you've accomplished. Today is a day of celebration, so take photos with your families and friends, cherish the memories that you've made along the way, and party hearty this evening. You've done it. You're a University of Calgary graduate, a distinction that you'll carry with you for the rest of your life. I'm proud to be an alumnus of the University of Calgary and honored to now be associated with each of you. I declare this convocation closed. Please stand for the departure of our processions.